Hi friends, welcome to the quick plant guides in which you learn how to care for your new favorite plant in just three minutes. So let's talk about the global green. This is one of the new varieties of potos out there in the market and is becoming really, really popular. And it's a beautiful variety and relatively easy to care like other potos plants. Let's talk about light first. How much light does it, this plant require? I would give this plant a little bit more bright and direct light. Uh, a lot of potters do well in low light conditions, but I would avoid low light for this plant because it looks a little bit more finicky and fragile than the other potters varieties out there. So you can keep it near a window that is east, west or north facing and this plant will do well. But as always, try to avoid leaving this plant in direct sun for too long, especially during the summer. When it comes to watering, it's the same thing as the other potos. You want to wait until most of the soil is dry before watering. And you will get better over time with feeling how dry the soil is. But in the beginning, you can use a moisture mirror and stick it up to the bottom of the pot to see how much of the soil is dry. Or you can use your finger and try to sense the soil until like this much deeper as you can. And if you only feel dry soil, it's time to give this plant a good drink. And don't be afraid to really give it a good drink, even under the tap. If the pot has drainage holes, the plant will do just fine. So let's talk about soil and repotting. I would wait until the roots are coming out of the bottom of the pot before repotting this plant. And then you can repot to a pot that is one or two inches bigger than the original pot. And you can use a standard soil potting mix that you can find in a big box store. This plant will do just fine with it. When it comes to fertilizing, I would fertilize this plant in the spring and the summer to make it grow a little bit faster. And you can use, again, a standard fertilizer that you can find at a supermarket or a plant shop. This plant is not finicky with different types of fertilizer. And last but not least, this plant is toxic to cats and dogs. So make sure to keep this plant away from your pets. And that's all for this guide. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.